Recently, Steve Hoffmeyer on his YouTube channel released a video where he gave a very short, roughly uh, six and a half to seven minute speech on the basically a summary of the situation surrounding Black Lives Matter and the situation with all the sports personalities and uh, various others bending the knee to the BLM movement. I thought what he said was absolutely brilliant and um, I've decided to translate it into English and recreate it for you here. I've tried to put in as much um, feeling, for lack of a better word, into this into the, the talk, but I don't have the amount of passion about it as Steve does. And uh, well, only Steve can do what Steve can do. Um, I'm just an amateur at this. But uh, I have translated it and I have recorded the audio for it. I was going to try and literally dub the video, but I just cannot get the get it anywhere near close, anywhere close. So what I've done is I'm just going to play the audio over the over a um, an image of of that I've taken a still from his from his video. So that that will be the entire video. Please listen to this every word and um, listen to the meaning of this. This 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 is it's profound. I think we all need to take this in and actually realize what what this BLM movement and their supporters actually have to offer the world. And maybe we'd think twice about bending a knee to these terrorist bastards when the time comes. Please remember to like and share this video on as many other social media platforms as possible. It's the only way my message gets out there. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I have to ask why not? What have you got to lose? Go right now and click on the big red subscribe button below and to the right of this video. While you're there, click on the bell icon and choose all notifications. That way you will be notified every time I upload new content. If you would like to support my channel and my work, in the description field I've provided ways for local as well as international viewers to make a contribution. I've also provided a zapper code which you can scan. Simply pause the video about now and scan the QR code. Any and all contributions are welcome and very much appreciated. To all those amazing people who do contribute to my channel, I thank you. Be careful out there. Until next time. Dear Mr. Black Lives Matter and other knee benders. Shame man. How bad eh? Your revolution is without any new ideas. You say the world discriminates against you. I want to ask you about this. The world, the entire world, discriminates for you. And you still feel that nobody will listen to you unless you vandalize, burn, shoot, kick, hit, swear or remove your pants and crap in the streets on national television. Is that why you, Mr. Black Lives Matter, insist on less policing? How bad is it that your idea of policing is the prosecution of women for hate speech against your fragile little ego? How terrible is it that you have to insist on laws that force others to love you? How frustrating for you it must be that you may destroy the monuments of other cultures, yet you have absolutely nothing to replace them with. How hypocritic that you have to rely on laws that force others to trust you, that force others to hire you, that force others to take you into their employ. Have you no shame? You and I know that big words like white privilege, white fragility and white monopoly capital is actually nothing other than... Uh, the isolation of your own ancestors. Have you ever blamed your ancestors for anything? I blame my ancestors all the time. Do you know why? Because none of my ancestors are gods. That's why. How demeaning is it that just because of history there is mitigation for your deeds and your misdeeds, as if history happened to nobody else other than you? Until quite recently, Mr. Black Lives Matter, 90% of the planet consisted of poor farmers and slaves. What makes you history's only casualty? How tragic that you know nothing about the history of white slaves and that you know even less of the slavery in North Africa of today. Where is Black Lives Matter in North Africa today? You, Mr. Black Lives Matter, may not admit to any of this because it weakens your demands and maybe then you will receive less of other people's money and that is what it's all about, isn't it? How false are you that Black Lives Matter is shouted while farm murders in South Africa are an exclusively black-on-white epidemic? 
How hypocritical is it that you shout Black Lives Matter while murders on blacks is exclusively a black-on-black -black epidemic, especially in South Africa? How embarrassing it must be that there is no white-on-black rape rate, because if there was, mainstream media would be reporting on nothing else. How bad is it that you can mistake the fear in the eye of a bloodied 82-year-old grandmother for respect? How do you feel in a taxi, filled to capacity, when I am not even allowed to visit that grandmother? How desperate are you that you accept that blacks, and only blacks, can't be racist? Oh, shame, man. You, miss, the beneficiary of Black Lives Matter, have you ever wondered why you can't find a people anywhere that are envious of you and your children? while your children stream out of the country? Ask yourself the question, how damning is it that the best you can offer, Mr. Black Lives Matter, is to keep corrupt terrorist organizations alive? Organizations such as Black Lives Matter, such as the ANC. How horrible to remove statues of founders of universities and civilizations when your ancestors never even had the aptitude for technology, education or literacy. How shamelessly you strip museums of items from a time when your ancestors had nothing to offer museums, when the spoken word did not even exist for them. How stupid do you think we are to think that we would forget about you cancelling all our symbols, our flags, our statues, or our street and town names? How damning when you shout discrimination while you have all media, all race laws, all schools, all universities, everyone's taxes, all entertainment, and the entire Hollywood in your back pocket. What an embarrassment that you need white actors, singers, cricket players, rugby players, and who knows who else to tell you that your life matters. Please tell me that you can see through all of this. Tell me you can see how the reconciliatory might of sport was also just pulled through their asses within 24 hours. How low are your expectations, Mr. Black Lives Matter terrorist, that you can't breathe unless I ask for forgiveness because I am white? How sad is it that you can spit and shout about racism when there is not a single law that discriminates against black people? Who are you, Mr. Black Lives Matter? How hypocritical of you to shout about discrimination on camera while nobody in history has ever been as free as they are right now. How shameful that you ignore all these things. You ignore the existence of the hundred-odd laws against whites. Look away, Black Lives Matter. Look away. How shamelessly you accept posts, bursaries and degrees for which others actually qualified. How cruel that pass marks have to be lowered until you pass. How frightening for you that you can never again be judged on merit as long as BEE exists. Take it away, Black Lives Matter. How does it feel to shamelessly stream to the countries and the schools and the systems that you supposedly despise? See a Khaleesi. It's not that the Mesopotamians learned to read and write. It's not that your ancestors were not capable of achieving it on their own. It's because you blame others for it. It's not that other nations had the wheel 5,000 years ago. It's not that because your ancestors never even discovered the wheel. It's because you want to punish progressive nations for that achievement. Shame, man. How badly did you view the preferential treatment as discrimination? How tragic that all these words I have just spoken make you angry at those that want to measure you against the standards of your own people. How tragic that these grudges and envy and not achievements or pride define you. You've got so much to be proud of. Here is my promise to you. I bend the knee to only one God, and if you ever extend this demeaning hand to my people, we will smack it away with the contempt it deserves.